Hello all, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Uh, in today's video, I'll be talking about uh, Oracle Fusion options or modules, which will be covered in my uh, upcoming uh, training videos. So I'm planning to cover uh, this, uh, sorry, these uh, options, Oracle Fusion General Ledger, Oracle Fusion Accounts Payable, Oracle Fusion uh, Accounts Receivable, Fusion Cash Management, Fusion Fixed Assets, Fusion Expense, Fusion Tax, and uh, Advanced Global uh, Intercompany System. So these are all the modules or the options which I'm planning to cover in my upcoming uh, videos. Now, let me talk about the Fusion Enterprise Structure. So, and what will be the Fusion Enterprise Structure, which I'll be showing in my training videos. So before I get into that, so let me first explain how is this fusion enterprise structure different from uh, your EBS uh, multi org structure? So let me explain this uh, in a spreadsheet. Let me open a spreadsheet. Okay. In EBS, we have this multi org structure. So first start with BG business group and then ledger, legal entity, operating unit, inventory org. And of course, under inventory, we have sub inventory arc and stock locators. In fusion, the equivalent of this is this we call it as a business group. Here we call it as a enterprise. Ledger, same ledger, legal entity, BU. Again, it's the same inventory arc, sub inventory arc, and stock locators are uh, same. And in Fusion, we also, between your enterprise and ledger, we also have uh, something called uh, division, which is optional. So I'll not go much details into this uh, division. But otherwise, uh, this is the uh, Fusion enterprise structure. In EBS, uh, we have the default or Oracle provided business group, which is called setup business group. So in any fresh implementation project, we'll be able to see default business group is setup business group. Similarly, in Fusion, the default enterprise is the name of the receded enterprises, default enterprise. You can rename it uh, in, in EBS, you can rename it based on your business requirement. Similarly, in Fusion also, you can rename your uh, default enterprise based on your business requirement. And another important thing is in EBS, we can have multiple business group and each business group can be configured for a specific country uh, from a HRMS perspective. In Fusion, we have only one enterprise, but of course, through one enterprise, there are different ways wherein we can manage different country-specific uh, HR solutions. So basically, uh, we have only one enterprise, but it, it still meets the uh, requirement of uh, different uh, country-specific HR uh, solutions. And uh, this is the enterprise structure which I'm planning to use in my uh, upcoming videos, Reliance Enterprise, this is this is your enterprise, Reliance INR Ledger, Reliance UST Ledger, these are my primary ledgers, and under these ledgers, I have these legal entities, Reliance Communications, Reliance Textiles, Reliance Telecom, Reliance Oil and Gas, Reliance Software, and under these uh, legal entities, these are all my BUs, or in your EBS term, it's uh, OU, so these are all my BUs, so I am planning to use uh, this enterprise structure in my upcoming uh, videos thank you thanks for watching my video for interesting videos on uh, oracle fusion financials please subscribe to my channel thank you